Hi all, good morning. I thought I'd show you my other stove. I have one um, previously in another video, which is made by Bushcraft Essentials, which is absolutely superb firebox. This one is um, a gasifying stove. <clears throat> I bought this very few, well, about four years ago, three years ago. Um, it was cost about £30. There's some really cheap ones on the market at the moment. I don't know what the quality is like. I like the quality of the one I've got. The, I store it in this because it packs away beautifully. This is the MSR Seagull, um, which is quite a versatile bit of kit. You could use that as a little bit of a saucepan, put some eggs in something. I put it in a bag so it doesn't actually damage the, the pot. It fits beautifully in here. Okay, like I said, this is the MSR Seagull. Small pot. Uh, also a bit of foil. What I tend to do with this if I'm using the pot or the kettle, because they're both stainless steel, if you want to keep them relatively tidy, you can just wrap this around the bottom. But that's entirely other, just preference. Um, I tend to buy stainless steel most of my stuff. I'm not a keen believer in aluminium, even though it's lighter. But I don't, I'm not particularly keen on, I don't know if it's the taste, I don't know if I can taste it or whatever, but I'm not keen on aluminium. So, uh, also inside the firebox, inside, not the firebox, inside the gasifier, I got some cotton wool buds to make life a little bit easier for lighting. Okay, if we get out of the packet, as like I said, it's one of the early version ones. They're still selling them now, they're still £30 actually. So, what you do, take it out of the case. Drop the base down, which is your ashtray, which drops down, okay, and then you insert it on the top of the base, so you've virtually just took it out. So what you do, if you put it in the way, push the base up from underneath, it fits all nice and snug, so it's all one unit. So take the lid off, place the base down, push the ashtray down, it fits very snug on top. And then your lid on top with your support pots stands there. And this does work exceptionally well. Um, I will get this fired up as well later on and we can see it working in gasify. And I use, you can use actually in these um, wood pellets, um, which you can get for cat litter trays and stuff like that. They work exceptionally well and they burn for a long time. The only thing is that you could, you could use your kettle on it, which fits beautifully. But I don't think I would cook on it, to be honest with you. For the simple reason is I don't... I would cook on this using ordinary wood and oak chips and stuff like that, but not the cat pellets, because I'm not too sure what sort of gas they give off. I don't think I want to kill, kill myself or even make myself feel ill using cat pellets, cooking a piece of meat or something. But I don't think you would anyway on this stove. So this kettle, if you're interested, is uh, by GSI Outdoors. I've just got a bit of a nice bit of a feel to it. If I just push that to one side. The lid handle locks in place. The lid itself, little, I don't know if you cook with that besides. I do have a few little goodies I keep in there. A pack of nuts when we're out on the out trail a bit. Some fat wood, which fits nicely in there, which helps me cook and light the gasifying stove. And just a few protein bars. It's just something so you're handy, so when we're out and about, it all fits in quite nicely. Always nice to keep up the space. Anyway, so what we'll do later on, later on, we will get a chance. We will get the gasifying stove fired up, probably with pellets as well, and I'll show you how it works extremely well. Okay, let's see if we can get this little baby fired up for you. What I've done just put a few twigs on top. I've got some cat pellets in it and I've got some cotton wool, the um, soaked in Vaseline. Pretty easy to light. Cat's going mad. Okay. Right, we'll let that burn for a while and then um, hopefully come back when it catches properly and um, see it gasifying. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, you can see it's starting to catch now. Um, what I tend to do as well, you've got the holes around the top. If you can see them in the camera. 
if you can see them what you need to do is keep the fuel I've got the fuel on top at the moment lighting which is a little bit of sticks but when that dies down you want to keep about three quarters of an inch of gap do not fill the the actual stove to the top because it doesn't actually gasify very well so you need to keep it down about three quarters of an inch and I do believe with these stoves that you light them from the top not from the bottom um, that's the general idea. Whether I'm right or wrong, I'm not going to go into a debate with it, but I do believe you like from the top. Okay, looks like she's starting to gasify, so what I'll probably do now is um, I've got my stainless steel kettle, which I'm very proud of, <laughs> and I'm going to put it on. I've got two cups of water in this, so we'll see how she fares. Okay, we'll see how long that takes. Gasifying beautifully. These cat pellets, by the way, do seem to burn for a very long time. So they are, I mean, just to take in your rucksack, just a, a little bag full. There's no biggie, they're not heavy. If you can see that, it's, yep, yeah, beautiful. So, they crack a bit of stove, they're very, very light. gasifying like a dream what a cracking bit of kit i forgot how good this was i haven't used it for a while we've been doing a house up so we haven't had a chance to get out my son's just moved into his house which needed a lot of renovation so i haven't been out um hiking much but um i fuck i actually forgot how good this this little stove is i'll um leave it running for a while and then um i'll come back to it when um down on fuel so i'm timing how long this is going to burn for okay so get back to you in a bit okay this is 20 minutes and there's loads of fuel left yet so i'll just keep going um i said like the cat pellets are very very economical they're cheap to buy easy to carry uh but then again just the small twigs will do exactly the same job i don't know if i don't think they'll last as long pellets are quite um dense and they're quite compact in there so but yeah it's, it's 20 minutes if you can't cook in 20 minutes and to get your meal ready there must be some well not really i'm not somewhat wrong but yeah i actually feel the heat from that Yeah, it's 25 minutes. And those, if you can just see that, those are the wood chip pellets I'm using at the moment. These are cat litter. Just eBay you can get them from anyway. Just type in um, cat litter pellets, wood pellets, and that's what should come up. They weren't that expensive. Okay, now it's coming to the end. I mean, it's still extremely hot. You can see the embers at the bottom, but we're almost done. So, approximately 25, 30 minutes. That last bit did burn quite quick. So we're nearly out at, at say, let's call it safe, 25 minutes. And that's ample time for cooking and um, boiling water. And you've still got some burn time in there as well. Okay, Show thank you. Show the gasification again. It's really going well. Okay, looks like we have a nice rolling boil, about three minutes, so it's pretty good. And I'll just show you the fuel. Hold on one second. Just going to burn my fingers. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we've hardly used any fuel, and that's nothing. I mean, this is, what a cracking little stove. So that's hot. Now I can show you that. And a full rolling boil in about three minutes. That's two cups of water. Not even three minutes, actually, but... Gasifying beautifully. Like I said, the cat pellets work really well. Um, that's just two handfuls. 
So if you want to grab them with you and take them with you, if you get your cooking and utensils ready, yeah, it's no problem. Okay, hope the video has been a help to you. Um, I've enjoyed making it. If you'd like to subscribe or thumbs up or leave any messages down below, that would be great. Thank you much and see you in the next vid. Cheers. Bye.